This was wild to watch as Zach Levine just goes wild in the garden. We're going to be talking about the key takeaways from tonight's win against the New York Knicks. This is your host, Rico Greenhow, and you have found yourself on another episode of Bulls Digest. And so the Chicago Bulls win 124 to 123 against the New York Knicks. This was a wild game as the Chicago Bulls were up by as many as 22 points and then the Knicks came all the way back. It comes down to the last second where Jalen Brunson has a shot that literally goes in and out. But there were some major key takeaways from the Chicago Bulls tonight as they uh, put it together, right? They got tested and they came out of this test and they 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 passed the test. And so let's go ahead and jump into really the key takeaways in tonight's game and starting with uh, Zach Levine. And so I think that Zach Levine was absolutely amazing tonight. Look, he had 31 points. He had eight assists. He had seven rebounds. He was plus 21 in the box score, which was the best on the team. And I had been talking about just how efficient that he has been. I talked about the pace in which he is playing. And even though he had six turnovers tonight, I mean, he was making some special plays out there. Some of these assists were great. And I think he was understanding just the flow of the offense at time uh you know when he did have the turnovers he kind of got away from that but still it was nice to see Zach Levine playing at this level because this is the all-star Zach Levine that uh, you know we love in Chicago. And so he certainly continues to play well. And I talked about this before in the pregame. I can see a situation where the Chicago Bulls do not trade Zach Levine. I think that they might actually keep him at this point if he continues to play at this level because uh, right now, I mean, could he play with these young stars? I, I think he possibly could here. And so he looked good tonight and he was absolutely our primetime player of the game today. Next up, uh, another player that, uh, look, I've been talking about him every post game. Vooch continues to play well. He was right behind Zach Levine in the plus minus today. Look, he had a plus 14 tonight, 19 points, 11 rebounds, two steals, three assists. Uh, look, I know he got challenged on the defensive end by Carl Anthony Towns, who had 46 points points. Uh, but still, Vooch did his thing in the first half. He was going in the box. Uh, he was scoring in the post. He was knocking down shots, just really putting a lot of pressure on the Knicks. And I had talked about the fact that uh, the Knicks, they are letting a opposing team shoot 69.3% on them at the rim. And so he certainly took advantage of that. And I think that it is really good for the Chicago Bulls when Vooch is going, because if our three-point shot is not going, then we know that we can get a source of offense with Vooch who is going down there and other players are able to cut off of him so it really opens up the offense and so Vooch does his thing today he's right behind Zach Levine in the plus minus category so next up another player that I think I have to give his flowers uh, today, and that is uh, Kobe White. Look, Kobe White wins the game, period. Like He won the game at the free throw line. He gets fouled by Josh Hart, goes to the free throw line, and makes all three of his free throws, and that led to the last uh, shot attempt for the New York Knicks. But Kobe White tonight, 22 points, four assists. He had a steal. Uh, he did have three turnovers, and he was negative eight in the, the box score. But still, this is why I like Kobe White because he can be playing badly, but he's still good enough to be out there and help you in a closing situation. And he's a clutch player. And this is what I love about him and Ayo Desumu. No matter how bad the season may be looking or how bad that game may be looking, I always believe in both of those players to figure it out and to give me a chance to win. This is why I like Kobe White. Yes, I want him to be more you know, uh, efficient. Yes, I want him to cut down the turnovers and things like that. I think that that is something we absolutely want from Kobe White. And also, too, more of the consistency. Like, we want to see more of the highs than the lows. But I like what I saw from Kobe White, and I just think that he's got to continue to get consistent. But I loved how he closed today, and uh, he did win the game. And so next up, uh, another player that I have got to give some credit to is going to be Patrick Williams. Because Patrick Williams comes out, he gets a season high in points tonight, 
And the one thing that I loved about Patrick Williams was just his aggressiveness tonight because he was super aggressive at going to the basket. He had a tip jam, I think, either in the fourth quarter that was huge to keep the pressure on the Knicks. Uh, and that is a sign of growth because he missed a tip jam versus the Cavs. But look, he has 18 points tonight. He has six rebounds, two assists, two steals. And the one thing that I love about Patrick Williams, I just talked about Kobe White winning the game with his free throws. Patrick Williams won the game with his defense because even though Jalen Brunson had that shot go in and out, if you look at this game, there was a possession before that where Jalen Brunson was able to get to the basket or get to that same mid-range on the other side of the floor and knock it down. It was still some good defense from Patrick Williams. He gets shifted back onto Jalen Brunson, gets a good contest, and the shot does not fall. So that was great defense. He's there. Uh, it was just going to be a tough shot made. But I like how Patrick Williams goes out there. He's fearless on the defensive end to help us win it there. And he was a bit more aggressive, actually a lot more aggressive. So we need that moving forward with Patrick Williams. So whatever he ate going into this game, make sure that he eats that again and he continues to play this way because this was huge for uh, Patrick Williams tonight. Uh, next up, another player that uh, I want to go ahead and shout out is going to be Ayo DeSumo. I think that Ayo comes off the bench. He is the one-man fast break for the Chicago Bulls. I love the fact that he takes a, a, a major three-point shot late in this game that keeps the Chicago Bulls in it. Um, and that's what I'm talking about with him and Kobe White. Like They can be struggling, but when the game is on the line and when you need it, they absolutely are there for you. And so I loved everything that he did and defensively, Ayo DeSumo, I think, has shown now that he is the best defensive player on the team. I think that there might have been a little bit of a debate between him and Patrick Williams, but look, Ayo DeSumo clearly is the best defensive player on the team. And I think he seriously could push for being in the starting lineup with the way that he's able to offensively impact the game and defensively impact, impact the game. And I'd said this before, like earlier in the offseason, that yes, I would not, uh, I would, it would not be an issue with me if him and Kobe White started because look, Ayo DeSumo is a player that is very capable, 16 points, he had six assists tonight, three rebounds, two steals, he had a block, and that block was nice early in the first half. And so, look, I loved everything that he did today. Um, next up, I think another player that stands out for me is going to be our rookie, and that is Modest Buzelis. I think that Modest Buzelis did his thing tonight. I'm glad to see that Billy Donovan went ahead and actually played him. Uh, 12 minutes he got tonight. He had four points. He had four rebounds. He had three blocks out there. So defensively, you get a chance to see that Modest Buzelis Zealous just needs to get the opportunity to get out there. And I think that you see, uh, you know, some of the things that he's doing on the offensive end as far as spacing and things like that. He had a huge dunk. Like, I think he's starting to understand a little bit more with the, the spacing and how the offense is supposed to be ran. And so I think that as you continue to throw him out there, he's going to get better there. And defensively, um, you know, if you thought that he looked a little lost at times, uh, that's fair, but I didn't necessarily see that tonight. And the one thing that I love about Modest Buzelis is he comes in, he plays some more minutes. He hasn't been playing that much, but he was absolutely fearless. And this is why I do not worry about Modest Buzelis when it comes down to, um, you know, just throwing him out there because I think that he absolutely can figure it out. And so, you know, another thing, you know, on the Knicks side, when we're looking at the box score, Carl Anthony Towns, 46 points, he has 10 rebounds. Look, that's the most points against the Bulls, um, you know, from a player that played for the Knicks. So, you know, he is the highest scoring player that has played against us um, and playing in a Knicks uniform. So Carl Anthony Towns does his thing tonight. And so as we go into the team box scores, some of the key takeaways from this is that, look, at one point um, we had a, or they scored 26 to eight in the paint in the fourth quarter. That really led to this comeback for the Knicks. 
Then also, too, we uh, had a 14 to 3 advantage in the fast break um, going into halftime. Then when the game came down to the end, we were 26 and 14. So we win that as far as the fast break numbers, uh, 58 to 50 points in the paint. Ultimately, the Knicks win that uh, field goal percentage wise. We were 53.7 from the field, uh, 38.9 from three. And the rebounds were 40, 40. And like I said, we were up by as many as 20 two points here and we were able to pull it out and so lastly turnover wise we had 18 turnovers and so we cut it down from the Cavs game but still I think we had some really questionable uh, turnovers here and so before I go ahead and jump out I want to go ahead and look at Josh Giddy because Josh Giddy five points six assists two rebounds he was plus 19 today and you know, I know that there's not a lot that shows in the box score, and yes, he wasn't out there to close down the game, but essentially he did get the winning assist today because in that play where Kobe White gets uh, fouled, he actually had the alley-oop to Zach Levine. And when I was looking at this, I was thinking, man, throw this lob and get the bucket to uh, Levine. But he doesn't. He holds off, and then he passes it to Kobe White, who's able to get a little bit of, a little bit of an advantage to put up that three-point shot and ultimately get fouled by Josh Hart. But I like that Josh Giddy. Um, instead of taking the risk, he went ahead and took a short pass, and that short pass actually led to the game-winning free throws. And so I want to give Josh Giddy his credit because that was a huge play as well. And so a total team effort tonight. Uh, this was wild to see. But this just lets you know the potential for this team when they get locked in, uh, when they get focused, when they just – really lock in on the basics of basketball. And I think that that's what they were doing throughout three, uh, three and a half quarters, really. And that is just the basics. Like they were making sure that they were getting the correct shots on the floor. They weren't forcing a lot of three pointers. And at one point, the turnovers weren't that bad. And then they started to turn it over. And so I think these are things that they're going to have to continue to correct. Um, I want to give credit to, to Julian Phillips, Dalen Terry, the energy, the timely shots that they knocked down as well but I think that once again Billy Donovan is going to have to play those players a lot more and rely on them um, to go along with the good play that we're getting from Zach Levine we're getting from Vooch and Io is quietly like I said he's ascending at this point I just really think that Billy Donovan is going to have to make some decisions moving forward. So let me know what your key takeaways were from tonight's win against the New York Knicks. This was huge. We get ready to take on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, so I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Look, the Chicago Bulls win. Super excited for that. And so I'm saying go Bulls. And uh, look, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.